welcome. You're watching Business Today Television. I'm Sakshi Batra and this is a new show called Daily Calls. This is a show where we will answer all your stock-related queries. Our top market experts will go through your questions. So you yourself, in case you have any stock-related queries, do mention it on the, the YouTube channel where you are watching out uh, this live. Also, you can alternatively send in your questions along with your details of your names, location and uh, as well uh, the contact details that you have so that we can incorporate your calls also on this show on a daily basis. Let's first up start off with the top headlines we're tracking for you this hour. Exacom, a subsidiary of Bharti Airtel, makes a strong debut on D Street, lists at 33% premium and has now inched over 40% at 808 rupees in midday trade. Vodafone Ideas Idea Board has approved an 18,000 odd crore rupees follow on public offering. The FPO opens on April 18 and closes on April 22nd. The company has fixed the floor price at 10 rupees per share and capped the price at 11 rupees per share. The yellow metal continues to shine bright. Gold prices hit a record high of 72,797 rupees per 10 grams, an increase of 1.5%, while silver price is also up by 1.8% in the trade today and it's now crossed the 84,376 rupees per kilogram mark. has slipped to the day's low of uh, below 22,565 for the day, down 187 points. All the sectors have also slipped into the red with significant pressure being observed in the banking and the pharmaceutical spaces. Sun Pharma leads the losses on the Nifty, followed by Maruti and Sipla. Euro slips to the lowest level this year as a European Central Bank looks to set uh, to cut the interest rates before Federal Reserves as it believes that it is now time for its charting its own path on the interest rate front and diverge from the US Fed. Good afternoon to all our viewers. Welcome to this new show. You are watching Business Today Television and this is Daily Calls. With me on the show, I have a very special guest joining in, Raghavendra Singh joins in. He's a market expert. Raghavendra, good afternoon to you. Well, the markets have slipped to a, uh, the day's low, 175 points of a fall is what is being seen. And this is after a series of record highs that we have seen in the previous four or five trading sessions on the markets. What is the setup really looking like to you? Is this beginning of a reversal in trend? Uh, Sakshi, very good afternoon. Uh, see, uh, the kind of fall we have seen today, it was obvious because we have seen almost 7 to 8 to 100 point rally in recent time. And, uh, you know, after 700 to 800 point rally, it is very obvious to have one 100 to 100 point fall. I don't see any kind of, you know, significant fall coming ahead. So I believe this fall is the buying opportunity. We should encash uh, good quality stocks at lower level. Okay, got that. So, what are the top stocks that you're watching out for right now, Raghavendra? Any top two stock ideas? Uh, I'm more concerned about this, uh, you know, metal stocks which have given good rally. And I believe sale is still lagging behind. So, sale is one of my best stocks which I have, uh, which I will definitely recommend to buy at this level. And apart mm. from that, NHPC. NHPC has given very strong breakout above 90 and I believe this stock can touch above 100 very soon. Okay, uh, so uh, sale and NHPC, the two PSU stocks that Raghavendra is betting big on, you can continue to watch out for that one. Meanwhile, the markets are even slipping further, 190 points now lower in trade on the Nifty, 22,566. Uh, the uh, pressure is mounting in from uh, the banking space, all the sectors down into the red, like I pointed out. And of course, the heavyweight counters as well. It's the healthcare space that's falling the most. Uh, since Sun Pharma is the top loser, I wanted to take your view on this one. What is causing the pressure across the healthcare basket? And is this uh, a dip that one should be, in fact, looking as an opportunity? Or is there more pain ahead, Raghavendra, according to you? 
Uh, I believe the pharma stock has given a good run up in you know recent one or two months, and uh, you know after the RSI reaching to 80, it was obvious to have profit booking. So I believe it is a significant of that profit booking only, and I don't see any kind of major fall in you know all pharma stocks. I believe uh, Sun Pharma should take support around 1520, 1530, and it should reverse from this level. So I'll recommend to buy at this level with the stop loss of 1520, 1500 for the target of 1600. Okay, so that's as far as the top loser Sun Pharma is concerned. Let's start off by taking queries of our viewers today. The first query is from Vineet Ranjan and he's calling in from Delhi from Mayur Vihar. Vineet, uh, good afternoon. Vineet, uh, could you go ahead with your question? Raghavendra is listening to your question. You can ask him. मैं मेरा राजबंदर से ये सवाल है कि मैंने एक साल पहले कोल इंडिया के कुछ शेयर खरीदे थे तो अब मुझे वो उनको शेयर को होल्ड करना चाहिए या फिर सेल कर देना चाहिए या फिर प्रॉफिट बुकिंग कर देनी चाहिए इसमें आपने किस भाव पे खरीदे थे विनीत मैं एक साल पहले मैंने 300 के लेवल पे खरीद दिए स्टॉक तो ये अभी ये 450 के आसपास ट्रेड कर रहे हैं तो मुझे ये क्या करना चाहिए इनको होल्ड करना चाहिए या फिर इन्हें सेल करके प्रॉफिट बुकिंग करनी चाहिए चलिए बढ़िया सवाल है आपका और राघवेंद्र जी अक्सर कोल इंडिया के बारे में हमारे शो में बात भी करते हैं राघवेंद्र जी आपके लिए सवाल है तीन रुपए पर खरीदा है इन्होंने और अब क्या कर सकते हैं 450 के ऊपर अब ट्रेड कर रहा है स्टॉक साक्षी अभी भी यही कहूंगा मैं कोल इंडिया होल्ड फॉर इट आई थिंक दिस स्टॉक कैन गो अब सेवन हंड्रेड एट हंड्रेड लेवल वेरी सोन सो आई बिलीव दिस इज टाइम टू एक्यूमुलेट इफ ही बॉट एट थ्री हंड्रेड लेवल That is a very good level और अभी इस लेवल पे मुझे नहीं लगता प्रॉफिट बुक करना चाहिए वेट करें और भी इनको अच्छा खासा रिटर्न मिलेगा इसमें बाय एंड होल्ड ओके बाय एंड होल्ड अभी भी आपको होल्ड करने की सलाह है आई होप दैट आंसर योर क्वेरी Uh, we will also now root for the next question after this. Meanwhile, uh, for Coal India in the long term, for somebody who is looking to invest at these levels, what will you say? Uh, do you think that there is enough room for somebody holding the stock from a two to three year perspective? What is the kind of upside that you can advise? Uh, Sachi, I believe there can be some profit booking coming ahead in Coal India because we have seen already you know 200 point rally on the you know last one year so i believe there should be some profit booking uh, around 400 410 390 level once this stock reach to this level i'll definitely jump to buy again for the target of uh, you know 7 to 800 rupees in the next one or two year okay Okay, the next call is from Rajkot and this is from Sanjay Dubey. Sanjay ji, good afternoon. Go ahead with your question. Hi, Raghveen ji. Hello. Yes, we can hear Hello, you, Sanjay. Am I audible? Can go ahead with your question. Raghavendra can hear you. Raghveen ji, my question is actually I have Lawrence Labs ke, uh, shares liye the. और मैंने इस बिहाफ पर लिए थे कि ये जो कंपनी है बहुत ही ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग है सीडीएमओ पर बिजनेस है एपीआई है बायोलॉजिकल इसका बिजनेस है यहाँ तक कि आरटी जी थेरेपी के ऊपर एक कंपनी काम करती है और इसलिए मैं सोचा था कि आगे के लिए वेल्थ क्रिएट होगी लेकिन इस स्टॉक में लगातार गिरावट आ रही है अब किया क्या जाए सर ये बताइए um, राघवेंद्र दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम संजय is uh, he's well researched about this stock loris labs but he's now finding himself stuck in this stock because the stock has fallen before below his purchase price of 480 uh, abhi kya karna chahiye sanjay ji ko uh, sanjay ji the uh, apne stock bahut acha liya hua hai is level pe stock thoda sa selling pressure hai so i believe the stock should take support around 436 for 125 levels so uh, i think you should keep your stop loss as 425 and hold the stock i think this stock can again reverse till 490 500 level uh, within a month or maybe within uh, 15 20 days hmm okay Sanjay ji, I hope that answers your query. Along with Loris Labs, uh, what other uh, you know diagnostic space stocks interest you, Raghavendra, at this point in time? Over the last one week, 10 days odd, we have seen uh, several stocks show up some kind of momentum. See, today it is Metropolis Healthcare. Before that, it was Divis Laboratories as well that was showing up some kind of a move. Is this entire space uh, something that will create wealth for investors? Should uh, an average investor who has not had exposure to a laboratory stock, 
should they go ahead and have one stock at least in their portfolio oh i think divis lab is looking good but there is a one reversal uh, signal i can see so the stock can touch around 3700 3680 that level is very strong level to buy i believe uh, divis lab should buy around 3700 and i think uh, this stock can touch again to 4000 3880 and 4000 level very soon so uh man should go with the bivis lab apart from any other stock okay so in case you are looking at any diagnostic space stocks to watch out for then divis laboratories is the preferred choice the next call is from bengaluru and rudra nigam is calling us uh, for uh, the next query rudra good afternoon to you which is the stock that you have in your mind and what's your question i have 200 shares of tata motors at uh, 520 level Uh, before one year, I purchased this. How much upside are due? How much upside due in this stock? Okay. Had a dream run in the last one one and a half uh, years. So Raghavendra, of course, we do know that uh, in 2023 calendar year, Tata Motors was the best performing stock of the Nifty, and Rudra now is holding on to that profit, uh, nearly double of uh, his purchase price is what he has already witnessed thus far. But he wants to know very rightly that how much more steam is really left, and will it be uh, prudent for him to hold on to his profits even now? Sachi, uh, Tata Motors. If you can see the monthly chart, the stock has given inverted head and shoulder breakout around seven or six hundred seventy levels, and from that level, the target comes around eleven fifty twelve hundred levels. So I mm. believe again one fifty two hundred rupees is left in this stock. Once that stock target achieved, then we will see what is the next target. So I believe this stock can touch around twelve hundred rupees within a month, a two month, or maybe by the you know May end. Okay, there is steam left. In case you can hold for a month or two more, Rudra, then you should hold on because right now the stock is hovering around one thousand, one thousand twenty odd levels. But twelve uh, hundred and beyond that also, Raghavendra believes that uh, this stock will uh, definitely move ahead. What if somebody has a longer term view? Uh, somebody wanting to play the auto story, Raghavendra, is Tata Motors. one of the best stocks to really play the theme from say a 3 to 5 year perspective if somebody wants to hold on to uh, i believe apart from tata motor there is one more stock which is you know lagging behind that is ashok leyland and aishar motor which i have recommended so many times on the channel still i believe ashok leyland is a potential to touch 220 250 level within within a you know 3 to 4 month and over a period of time i believe a tata uh, ashok leyland can touch 500 plus Tata Motors is also a very strong company. I know that, and the stock has already given recent decent rally. So I believe Ashok Leyland and Aishar Motor is the you know two other auto stocks which uh, you know any new investor can look for. Okay, so along with Tata Motors, there are two preferred stocks from the auto basket that Raghavendra bets big on. One is Aishar Motors, the leader in the two-wheeler space, and also the other one is Ashok Leyland. And if these two are the uh, companies that you are watching out for, these two can be better bets in terms of uh, playing the auto space story for the next long-term perspective, uh, particularly. Let's get into uh, get in our next caller on. Uh, Sakshi Sharma has dialed us from Mumbai. Uh, Sakshi, very good afternoon to you. Good to have you with us on business today. Thanks for calling in. What's the question that you have around which stock? Hello, good afternoon, ma'am. I wanted to ask: Is there any opportunity to invest in new age tech stocks? Okay, any particular stock that you're watching out from from the new age tech stocks, or are you open to investing in any? Okay, um, Raghavendra, new age tech stocks. That's the question coming in for you. Uh, any right. opportunity here? Which is the top stock that you will go uh, for in the new age internet space stocks? I believe Zomato. Zomato has given very strong rounding bottom pattern above one fifty five. Uh, we have discussed this stock so many times, uh, you know, Salchi. And I still yeah. believe that stock has potential to touch two fifty level. So uh, for the Salchi, I believe this stock can touch two fifty. um maybe much more than but uh, the you know immediate target is 
Immediate target is 250 and the stock is already at record levels. In the last three months, the stock has actually given investors a 45% kind of a surge. So in the new age tech space, in case you're looking at Sakshi, Zomato is the stock that you can look at. The next target price that uh, Raghavendra has shared for you is 250. Right now, hovering around 190 to 193 odd levels. It's come off from its recent high levels of 199 and 200. So therefore, you can get a good upside from the current current levels as well. So those are the questions that we had for today. But in case viewers, you do have any stock related queries, please don't forget to mention them on our YouTube channel where you're watching this live. We can pick out from those. You can also send us your queries on the WhatsApp number that's flashing on your screens. Do note it. Send us your questions. You can also send in your video or your audio, audio format of asking these questions and we will be happy to incorporate it in our new show daily calls as well. Uh, Raghavendra, apart from this, uh, in the markets, what else is looking good to you in the current setup? Uh, any particular sector or stocks that you're keeping a keen eye, where you believe the next leg of the rally will see some outperformance coming in? Well, Sachi, there is one stock policy bazaar, you know, new fintech company, which have given strong breakout above 1200, you know, recent time. And apart from that, there is the AB Capital. AB Capital, I've discussed so many times on the channel, above 200. So this is stock potential to touch 250, 270 level. And policy bazaar potential to touch 1600 level because the kind of target we have seen after the breakout is almost 400 to 300 point upside. So these two stocks are looking very good. And apart from this, I think the insurance company, uh, ICIC Lombard, ICIC Lombard has given, you know, decent correction in a very, you know, in last one month, two months. So I believe after the correction, the stock is hovering around 1670, 1700, uh, 1700 level. And then this stock is, uh, you know, much, much lower level. And I believe this stock enters 1800, 1900 plus. Okay, well on that note, thanks a lot Raghavendra for being with us and always a pleasure to host you and to get such wonderful stock ideas from for all our viewers. Always uh, you, know, you know, good to have you with us. Until then, many thanks Thank for you joining so much, us. We'll be getting you back soon on the channel. Uh, viewers, uh, now it's time to actually look at uh, some other information with, it, uh, with respect to the earnings season. Remember, today of course we will see uh, officially the kick starting of the earnings season with the big bellwether companies like TCS kick starting from the IT firms but there is one company that's already recorded a fantastic set of earnings that that is from transformers and rectifiers and uh, where we've actually seen the company post a consolidated net profit which has surged 343 percent in the month uh, in the quarter of March as well as the sales have risen about 17 percent odd as well for the company and following this results we've actually seen the stock price surge to a record high level Level. Now, my colleague Shalendra Bhatnagar spoke to Jitendra Mamotra, the chairperson of Transformers and Rectifiers, to really find out about what is working for the company and what is the view forward when it comes to earnings. Let's listen in to find out what the company's future outlook is. While your sales rose 18% in the fourth quarter uh, to about 512 rupees, what was behind this stunning rise in profit? about 40 crores worth of quarterly profit compared with 9 crores a year earlier. How did profit rise so fantastically? Uh, you see, this, is, uh, this has to happen. Uh, unfortunately, it happened a little late uh, because uh, uh, of uh, the operational reasons. Uh, we were unable to uh, do good in the first and the second quarter. Otherwise, the result would have been uh, similar to what you have seen in the fourth quarter. And this, this is going to stay. Uh, moreover, you know, in the first quarter and second quarter, we had uh, okay. uh, some uh, orders uh, with the fixed prices, uh, which we had to accept. So that had reduced uh, the, the bottom line for a bit margins. But now uh, nothing is uh, with uh, the uh, form prices. Everything is with the variable prices. When the variable prices are there, we don't have to worry. We uh, uh, we get uh, back to back uh, the price variation which uh, we encounter while uh, manufacturing the transformer if the transformers are delivered in time. So now the uh, the idea will be to execute uh, the uh, the orders in time to uh, get the maximum benefit uh, out of the whole operation. 
how much of this order book is uh, uh, from uh, the renewable side and uh, what is the percentage uh, of this order book compared with sales this order book will go for how long uh, see today the whatever order book we have uh, more than 50% is uh, uh, directly or indirectly related to the renewable whether it is for power evacuation whether it is for uh, solar uh, and so on but mainly more than 50% is renewable uh, because everybody is coming out with uh, tbcb projects uh, which are to be executed by them in time and uh, to guarantee the, the uh, end client uh, the power at a particular rate so these are the challenges and everybody is after this even uh, of late uh, the people who were not there they they are also entering into it uh, you know so uh, business is so much that uh, num uh, number of players will not make any difference all right so that was the management of transformers and rectifiers india talking about the future outlook and what's really contributed to the stupendous results in this quarter but now it's time for another breaking news and uh, with respect to a big development when it comes to elon musk's visit to india now there is a huge buzz that his uh, visit to india may not be just allow uh, alone about Tesla and its entry and uh, the prospects that Tesla will bring about in the Indian electric vehicle space but there is a huge uh, development and there is uh, some kind of buzz about how the company could be actually talking about or Elon Musk could be actually looking to get um, a license for its, his company Starlink and my colleague Karishma Sudani now joins in to give us more details on that. Karishma what are the exclusive details that you are picking up from your sources when it comes to Elon Musk's visit to India and what could be in the offing? Sakshi, right, what we are picking up is that uh, as we know that uh, Elon Musk will be in India on April 21st and 22nd and uh, uh, the big pan meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi is going to take place but we are also learning from our sources in the Ministry of Commerce uh, uh, that uh, the regulators uh, for license for uh, uh, Starlink uh, service, which of course uh, uh, Elon Musk has been planning to unveil for a long time, is at advanced stages, which definitely indicates an affirmative or positive uh, uh, response in terms of uh, his visit, which could likely be taken up within the next uh, 10 days. Uh, uh, as we know, for the past few the certain hurdles, certain hiccups that were seen in terms of uh, uh, these regulatory hurdles, but looks like it could be a smooth uh, ride uh, further. This is what we are picking up. Besides this, as we know, uh, uh, there could be uh, some investment announcements that we are hoping on that the Tesla chief uh, could unveil on his India. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Karishma, for all that update. So, there you have it, viewers. Uh, there is an expectation that upcoming Elon Musk's visit could actually get him regulatory approval for Starlink license. That seems to be in advanced stages as of now, as sources have told Business Today Television. And uh, Starlink is probably going to be providing satellite-based broadband services in India. So this is going to be a big one that we'll continue to watch out for as to how uh, the visit uh, of Elon Musk in India will revolve around developments in the electric vehicle space and now also in the broadband services in India. We'll get you all the developments as and more. We get more details on this front. So do stay tuned on to Business Today TV. With that, it's time to wrap up this very special edition. But don't go anywhere. Stay logged in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And as with respect to your stock-related queries, you can mention them on the WhatsApp channel flashing on your screens. And you can also uh, give us any of your queries that you would want to ask the stock market experts coming on our channel for authentic advice and uh, for an advice that will be valued by you as uh, viewers and investors as well. So don't forget to write into us um, on our comment section as far as YouTube channel is concerned. You can also mention your queries on our social media platforms and the best way to get us your questions faster will be the WhatsApp number that we have shared with you on our screens. Do send in your queries along with your own name, your location and your contact details as well. Until then, many thanks for tuning in.
posters that have been put up by the DMK functionaries uh, and it says please scan to see the scams that is what the poster says and it also has an image